With my mind inclined to my will, your broken heart will be mended for real. Ah, whatever it takes, he reaches out to you. Ah, whatever it takes, he reaches out to you. Ah, Welcome to this amazing edition of Whatever It Takes with Prophet Malachi Nandu. Thank you so much for joining me once again. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, click the subscribe button and even the notification icon. This is whatever it takes with Prophet Malachi Ngandu. This is a show that is aimed at spreading the gospel and reaching you with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I'm privileged to be joined by one of the most amazing, talented Zambian artists. She's been known for something amazing in, in, in our country back here in Zambia. And uh, this is no other than Kachanana. Kachanana definitely she's the only girl in a family of four boys and uh, she's a professional uh, professional recording artist right here in Zambia award-winning talented singer TV host and a live performer and I just want to mention this this is one particular female artist who through hard work and immaculate perseverance earned herself a spot on the top Zambian music scene and today I'm joined by Kachanana. Kachanana, welcome to whatever it takes. Oh, thank you very much for having me. You know when you were introducing me I thought like, where is she? Where is she? <laughs> oh, what a wonderful introduction. Hi everybody, thank you for having me. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. You've been known for uh, for being controversial before in right. your in your music career. Right. Like every time we heard Kachanana, there was that just that controversy. Mm. And uh, how do you, how did you take that controversy to start with, uh, with your music? Uh, it depends. Business-wise, it was making me money, so yeah. I was happy about that at the time. <laughs> um, but uh, emotionally, spiritually, it was killing me inside. Yeah. So, you know, money is not everything in the long run. That's what I got to learn. At least that's what everybody says. Yeah, but you just have to experience it. It's like people just need to experience it. So I just wish like people who are spending years and years and years fighting to get the, the bag, as they call it, I really wish they could get it so quick so that they could realize quick enough. <laughs> but it's not it because you know you can waste like five six years yes. doing the wrong, thing. the wrong thing when you finally get the bag and discover like you've been start thinking of all those years oh my goodness this wasn't worth it after. wow yeah so like um when it comes to like when you started professional music right when you really told yourself this is me starting the the, 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 the professional music, what was the drive behind that music? Was it the money? Was it the fame? Professionally, I didn't even think that, oh, let me be a professional artist. It yeah. was just fun. <laughs> it was so much fun. Like, I used to sing so much on campus. Yes. I didn't like go to like functions. We didn't have functions like we record music. I just met i think that was josie beats then okay. he was an artist he had a studio i don't even know remember how we met yeah wait i think somebody a relative or something like that introduced us hey there's this girl who can sing i wasn't looking to become a musician really okay. at all i wasn't wow. like if i had a talent if i told you what talent i had yeah. like the one i would have said this artistic talent i would have loved tell me about it it's acting. Wow. I think I'm an excellent actress. actress yeah. And don't take my word for it. I was also nominated, wait, no, not nominated. I wanted best actress when I was like school times and all oh, those yes. things. Best wow. actress Zambia. Wow. So those are the, like the national festivals. So mm. that was the career that would have been like, yes, I want this to is be. It. Yeah. <laughs> but like music, it was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can sing. Oh, what? In the studio? Oh, let's. I sing the song on the on the on the you know on the computer whatever it is the yes. you know the mic and everything mm. you sing and then and then you hear your voice like oh, ooh, this sounds like oh my god Brenda Fassi yes. and I love Brenda Fassi and, okay. uh, and the first song I did was Nizach Tabwanji yeah. and really I was just going with the flow it was just it was just so fun and then um, 
I think movie TV was launching that okay. time. That, that's when they just came out and they wanted some content, you know, to just fill up. Yes. And then they called. I don't know who they contacted, but someone told me, "Hey, uh, can you go and sing at movie TV?" Mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, cool, yeah." And it was just like a walk away. We just walked like you know, sneakers. Because there. you were at the university. Yeah, somewhere. yeah. It was like ten, five minutes. Walk five minutes walk. Yeah, yeah yes. just okay. You passed through a bush, the- but. <laughs> I was once I attacked in that bush though, so I, I don't like really? talking about that. Oh, I never got attacked, but we used to fall because the, yes. the, the, the mud, like it's raining. It was so very muddy. There. It was very muddy, and the muddy, the mud was like really slippery. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you, when you pass through that shortcut, so you know that that was that was the fear, not like we'll be robbed or we'll be attacked, oh, yes. but mm. like going to fall in the soil. Um, I went to movie TV, and then they recorded a video right there, and. And I was just having fun, fun yes. you know. And then next thing, people are paying you to perform, and I was like, I'm having fun and money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I discovered your music. I had heard your first song, but then there is freedom. Right. When you did that song, that was for me. I felt that was like your breakthrough. Right. Because it was very different from every other music video or a song. The song that we had known you before. Mm-hmm. The songs that we had heard from you were different from the freedom. Mm-hmm. What inspired such a powerful song? Uh, that one was definitely God. I mean, mm. <laughs> I had yeah. some some kind of relationship with Him, and I remember I wanted to as I wanted to do a song with a lot of musicians, oh. female musicians, mm. something to put us out there. Oh, yes. And I contacted a number of them. Guys, can we do a rehearsal? Can we do a recording? Yeah. And then you know, you, you know, by then I didn't know like, you know, I'm from a family of boys. Yeah, boys, boys like tense, tense. So, ooh, 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 we do That's it. it. <laughs> That's it. Does it make sense? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Girls are like, um, Tomorrow. no, but who is doing? This? But it's not fair. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, so. It was like we got together, but it was so difficult to like mm. move from one point to the next. Wow. And I remember thinking, like I was in the kitchen and mm. I was with my dad in Roma, so I was in the kitchen thinking, God, can you please, 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 please help me yeah. come up with a song? Because you know, the idea was first, let's make, let's create a song. Okay. Hey, we were not going anywhere. This one comes up with this idea. That idea doesn't work. Work, yeah. This one, no, 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 no. So I came up with the idea. So everybody bought into the con- uh, the, wow. the the um, the chorus, but still there was a conflict and stuff like that. It wasn't even conflict like we're fighting. It's yes. just that you know, I think we just didn't really. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just didn't. We didn't really. Ah, okay. You have an idea, yes. but you throw it out there. You want people to just jump on. Jump it. But on the here. idea needed leadership. I think that's oh, okay. the, the, that's the reason. But it didn't work out. So how I how uh, when it didn't work out, I just thought, hey, you know what? I still like this song, and these guys don't seem to be interested in it. So I'm all right, push it us myself. I'm gonna go sing it, <laughs> 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 and I did just that. And yeah. Do you think it gave you the attention that you really thought or perceived it would give you? Thing is, I wasn't looking for attention for me. No, 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 not saying you are looking for it. I'm saying, like, did, did it shock you at some point? Like, ah, what, what, what is the big deal about this song? Because that song, I saw you invited for very <laughs> remarkable events. Um, did it like shock me? No, I think you expected the kind of success. It no, you know, sometimes I know like this song is really big, like, I okay. know my music, like, yeah. This, not everybody appreciates, even like I know it's like when you paint, I think you can know, like, well, this painting is really good. That is, if you are not biased yourself, yeah. Did I know? I actually did I expect, <laughs> yeah, I did actually. I expected yeah. more from it. Wow, <laughs> cut to you became you became you, 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 you became one of the those female artists that had a very sexually provocative appeal <laughs> and performances. Was that something that was intentional, planned, or maybe it was just what the business demanded of you? Um, when you said, was that intentionally planned? Or like, you know, like, like, you know, when you Did I want night, to be? Like, did you really plan to say, you know what, I'm going to wear something skimpy because I want 
this a kind of attention to come to me, drawn to me, or I want to sell this and that. Was it intentional because you needed to sell records? Or maybe it, it is just what the business, the music business demanded. Yeah, now we're doing music business. Business, yes. Yeah, so now it's not about, oh, is this artistic? Yes. Is this what? So the music business at mm. the time, because before that, yeah. you could be any kind of artist yeah. and um, you could perform in different places. Yeah. Now at that time, when I started doing the crazy stuff, it was now like, club music music yes if you're a zambian music you needed to be performed if you were a zambian musician yes your performance needed to be in a nightclub okay there is no other place okay. you know that time people were not buying uh, tickets to shows like mm. uh, you know pg shows and i really like kids actually yes. so i wanted shows where i could have kids or mm. i could have ever mm. but it wasn't working it wasn't working at the time so I mean, a girl's gotta eat. So. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> so I said, okay, guys, we had a team with other people, so we had all these suggestions, and you know, I'm that per type of person. If I, if I if I agree with something, in as much as we think it's bad, I'm going to go all the way. Yes. So I, I, I like if I if I said this makes sense, <laughs> yes. I want to do this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put in everything, and I, uh, I just said, okay, I'm going to invest my time in this, and this is how much I want to get out of out it. Out of it, yes. So you you analyze the business. Okay, guys, we need to have more of the sexy content because if you're performing in a bar, it makes a lot of sense there. Yeah, you know, because you 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 do a daytime show. Who who's coming? Unless it's a gospel. <laughs> Like nobody's yeah. coming, man. <laughs> and there were no places like yeah. uh, that's something I would love like to work on as well, like to start yes. organizing places where you could have events which yes. are family oriented, where you have kids, parents. And I think there's some places mushrooming now. I I once came to your house. It was not a cheap house. It was it was a big house. <laughs> so such kind of living needed a very steady income, and yeah. obviously, you know. But how did you accommodate a Christian lifestyle with such kind of business approach? Man, I didn't have no Christian lifestyle. You what didn't are you care. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Christian lifestyle. It was all about making the money. Oh man, where's the bag? Where's the bag? That was what, that was what was in my mind. But you know, funny enough, I was actually working for other like big in, uh, NGOs and stuff like yes. that on the on the side as well. So it wasn't like I was just relying on the show money, but even the show money was pretty good. Like yes. if you have two, three shows, you make maybe a thousand, uh, what, two thousand, three thousand dollars. I mean, for Zambia, that's a lot of money. Uh, yeah, that's in true. a weekend. In a weekend, yeah. And all you have to do is just wear a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? So, but don't do it now. It doesn't work now. <laughs> Business models change, guys. It worked then. Now people are getting naked for nothing. For nothing. <laughs> so it was sort of like a deliberate move because right. you, you had to sell. Right. Right. So meaning there, there are several artists that are female artists that sometimes are doing certain things not really because it it resonates with their heart. Mm. It's because they need to sell. Ah. But are is they it, selling? Is it the question is, are they selling? <laughs> they could do a try and error. Maybe they are not selling. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You should consult me, guys. Don't just follow what I was doing how many years ago. Yeah, yeah. Ask me, how did it go? That's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that it's 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 what? Because for us, you know, you can be doing all these things. There's, yeah. there's something else that happens now. Mm. And I feel a little bit responsible, no, partially responsible, yeah. and that's why I speak on it a lot. Yes. Um, girls are now so-called musicians, but the music is m more of a poster for, um, more of an advert for, for, for prostitution. Okay. I remember, you see, I wasn't so dumb, sorry, yeah. sorry, yeah. I wasn't so dumb, like, even when we're making this decision, it was a business decision, like, we had, um, this is how much we want to make from this. This is what we want to do. Yes. So I remember when we, we, we said, let's pause like this for, for the first, I think that was for the first uh, single, Sexy, Sexy yeah, Body. Yeah. Pause like this. Sexy Body, yes. <laughs> I remember that song. So so the idea was like, what are we going to do? No, just do any normal pause. I said, no. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to Google. Don't okay. do this. I had to Google porn, pornographic, pornographic, 
poses, like the ones that they do for professional pornographic things, but Google them, but then have it, but do it not naked, but in a tasteful way, like in a bikini. In a bikini, okay. Right. Okay. So when you do that, right, it's like you are there, but you're not there. And I it's say, here. the point is, no one is going to do anything crazier than this. The only person who will do something crazier than this mm. has to be naked. Wow. And guess what? Yeah. The next person who did cr anything crazier than that was what? I was naked. So you're and now when you read when you when you reach listen, yeah. I was at the edge. Wow. So I say this is the edge. Yeah. You anybody else is falling off the edge. <laughs> so now fair. that's what's happening. Wow. So guys, sometimes don't just follow things. Sometimes people plan things, which even me, I think that was an evil plan, really, because some people, some of the ladies out there are actually falling off because now you're naked. Now you're prostituting yourselves. Now you're not even making money from that. Even if it's the money that you make, it's very minimal money. You know what I mean? You, you don't know, you know, times change. Sexy can, can sell today. It doesn't sell all the time and everywhere. Sexy was selling then because it was kind of new for people to behave like that. You know what I mean? To intentionally behave like that. But when you look at other countries, that wasn't even a big deal. That's true. I once witnessed, I, I watched you perform. It was in Indola. And mm. it was a massive electrifying <laughs> performance. Pasta, please. <laughs> <laughs> Can I remind you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it was quite a massive uh, performance. Why? I say this with respect to the fact that you are now a totally different person. Right. Full of the gospel. Yes. And I don't want to jump there because you know sometimes you have a similar kind of uh, background with me. Mm -hmm. We were in clubs. Can I see your arms? What did you do with those? With, with the tattoos? Yeah. They're still there. What? <laughs> I remember. You Don't remember you remember this? when I told you? I was like, Stan, you what? will regret this. Doing this. <laughs> do you not remember? I do. I, I was do. like, hmm. Stan, what would you do Christian this? boy. Hmm. And definitely, I, I regret it. <laughs> I regretted doing that. And, uh, you know, why I asked that is because. Okay, let me let me not run ahead of myself. Mm -hmm. Your music career was characterized by mostly criticism. Right. A lot of people criticized you. Mm -hmm. People, I remember at some point, people were trying to say, she's trying to be like Mampi. And then I was now listening, I'm like, okay, so why is it cool for Mampi and it's not cool for Kachanana? Mm. Or why is it cool for Kachanana and now it's not cool for Mampi? Because at some point they began to fight both of you. Mm -hmm. How can a woman? <laughs> but then when you invite them for a show the same gentleman would come for a show and pay a lot of money yeah. your your career was characterized by mostly criticism how did you handle such levels of criticism like you are human mm -hmm. you are a woman yeah. women are emotional people right people would insult you on, on social media people would insult you on radio right. how are you taking that well, it depends, you know, yeah. like when you're having a good day, it's like, ha ha, you don't know how much money I made today. Okay. But let me tell you the truth. Um, you know, sometimes it's like, I don't care. One, he's one person. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know what effort I'm putting in. But just the way somebody can dissect you and say negative things about, about you and you. trash your efforts, it does hurt. It does hurt. It's not important, but somehow, you know, it just hooks onto something. Even when you're moving, it's like you're moving, then you trip on a little piece of cotton. You know, the cotton might not even trip you, but it may cut you. You get what I mean? Like, there's a little piece of cotton. Pa! It won't, you won't fall, maybe, but it will cut you. Yeah. So, it, and it will hurt, when, you, especially when you're bathing, and then you remember, oh, there's a cut. Yeah. So that that's the kind of criticism I had on Facebook, right? Thank you so much, Kachi, for making an appearance on whatever it takes with Prophet Malakai. Yes, thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that has been our edition of Whatever It Takes with Prophet Malakai. And the Bible says, mm -hmm. in John chapter 3, it says, Unless you are born of the Spirit and of water, you cannot see the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God can only be seen by being born of water. It means being born from your mother's womb. And being born of the spirit is being born again. Now you are out there. You've heard what Kachanana has had to say. You've heard what she has gone through. 
you are probably at the verge of also thinking maybe I need to make money doing whatever it takes to make that money. She's, she's a very business minded person. I have met in, intelligent people, but I'll tell you one thing. I for one, Kachanana is not, no, I'm not saying this because she's here, is one intelligent person I have met. And she has come to a realization to say, you know what, she can't make it alone. She needs God in her life. You are out there, you are saying, I also want to get a personal into a personal relationship with God. There are Twitter handles on this video. There is uh, my, my Instagram handle. There is my Facebook page. Reach me, reach out to me. Let's get talking and let's help each other. This is Prophet Malachi Nandu from whatever it takes and signing out saying God bless you and Shalom Shalom.